Hello guys, in this video I'm gonna be breaking down the first two episodes of Agatha All Along with some hidden details and easter eggs. I will try my best not to give you a lot of spoilers so that you can still enjoy watching this episode on Disney if you choose to do so. Now let's begin the breakdown. In the beginning of episode 1 you can get to see the dead body of a woman named Jane Doe near the entrance of Westview. By the look of her fingers it seems crystal that she was probably into witchcraft in the past and maybe she was also in touch with the dark cold and there is a higher possibility of that. It's good to find Herbert back in the show as a cop and also Dottie who now works as a desk clerk I guess. Audrey Plaza is now playing the role of Agent Vittel. Inside the detective office of Agnes you can see her coffee mug that says get a clue and it kinda makes sense to me considering her profession as a detective officer although she has been suspended for over a month without any pay. While looking at the case of that murdered woman Agnes gathers all the opening letters of each word and ends up writing Darkhold over there. And that was the exact moment I was feeling like this show is going to be very interesting although it didn't. You can get to find out that she has got a boy named Nicholas Scratch who was never revealed within the first two episodes. And in case you don't know, Nicholas has been portrayed as another evil supervillain in the Fantastic Four comics during the 1970s for the first time. Anyways, there is a new character whose name was not revealed in the first two episodes and he was caught by Agnes when the boy tried to steal some Something breaking into her home at night. Inside the interrogation chamber, it seems crystal that Agnes was having a consistent deja vu due to excessive stress level and mental instability. One moment she sees the picture of the murdered victim and the next moment they turn out to be the pictures of a flower garden in a front yard. Inside the post-mortem chamber, she gets another deja vu of Wanda Maximoff. Anyways, when she was taking her clothes off, I found the thing on her ass. I don't know why but it kinda reminds me of the type of movies I sometimes watch where nobody does it better than the characters in those videos. After 26 minutes into the first episode, she wakes up naked inside her home. She walks outside to find out what the hell is going on and I gotta tell you man, I have never hated long hairs in my life just like I'm doing right now. Anyways, she has got a cute bunny in the basement. At the last moment of episode 1, the show gets a little bit interesting when Agatha gets to find out her true identity and Agent Videl breaks her cover and shows up as a witch who has come over here to make a deal with Agatha. She is a member of the Salem sisters. There is a dialogue of Videl where she says that she has got a black heart and it also works as a reference to the black magic practice she is involved in. In episode 2, there is a scene where this guy tries to tell his name but his mouth gets zipped up every time he reveals his name. Anyways, Agatha kind of begins to like that boy. You can get to see the broken house of Wanda Maximoff and also the paint evil witch over there. I wonder who painted that thing. I guess it's going to be one of the residents in Westview and that person cannot be Agatha because her memory was completely wiped out at the last episode of WandaVision. She spits on the debris of Wanda's home and walks away from that place. This is Lilia. She is a part-time fortune teller and a full-time bitch. I mean witch. There is a dialogue in this scene where Agatha says that she likes to eat babies because they're very delicious. Like what the f man. And this woman is over 400 years old and there is a weird thing about her. She sleeps on a bed which is attached to a wall, meaning she literally sleeps in a standing position like a freaking horse. This is Jenny. She runs a probiotic shop where she makes candles that can also be eaten after lighting them up. Like what the f Anyways, she has got an earring which kinda looks like the crown design of Scarlet Witch. There is a scene inside the car where Agatha finds again that whenever this boy begins to tell something about himself, she can't get to hear a goddamn thing. Now, I have no idea what can be the reason behind that but I have a feeling that this mystery might meet an answer at the last episode in October. Look at the view from here. It looks crystal from the lighting effects and the color grading that the entire place was made with CGI. Anyways, Mrs. Hart from WandaVision is now back in the show and her actual name is Sharon by the way. At the final moment of the second episode, Agatha with the presence of four other women begin a ritual to get the direction of the witch's road which can possibly help her get back her lost power. You can see the entry of the seven Salem sisters during the ritual and I gotta tell you, they look very appealing and quite inviting to me. Just imagine you wake up from a nightmare in a dark room and then you get to see her face breathing over you. That will be quite a comforting experience, right? 
Anyways, at the end of the second episode, a door to the witch's road appears beneath them and they run down the stairs before the Salem sisters begin to attack them. And that is pretty much the end of episode 2. There are lots of other things that I didn't talk about to avoid giving too many spoilers, but I tried my best to cover as much info as it was needed to help you decide whether you should watch the full episode or not. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Tagatha. Who's been messing up everything?